Um, oh yeah, you want to do your uh, intros? Uh, actually, I don't, did you give your intro as well, Vincent? I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think I did. Yeah, okay, yeah, um, give your intros and, I, you know, I'm, I'm Talagar, you know, 517, I'm into gaming and stuff like that and RPGs. I uh, also collect Blu-rays, um, so, yeah, hand it off to you guys. Uh, who wants to go first? Okay, it's going to be me then. <laughs> well, hello everyone, I'm Gary G. Reviews, and uh, I'm Gary G. Gaming, and also from Gary G. Reviews, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how that went. <laughs> that is good. And I am Sir Wolfbane, I'm too poor to have two channels, I've only got one. But uh, talk about gaming mainly, um, that's my forte. Uh, also, I have interest in like professional wrestling and movies and TV series in particular. But yeah, game is my thing, and comedy, of course. Yeah. Professional yeah. wrestling, yay! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Real quickly, what time do you guys have? Because for me, it's 1:07 p.m. Just so people get perspective on. I'm here in Illinois, uh, and maybe say your countries, and of course your times. Uh, yeah, uh, New Zealand, 6.07 in the morning. Mm. Oh, boy. No sun. We have no sun yet. It's still dark outside. <laughs> I just can't imagine how did you get up even. Oh, well, I, was I was talking to Sammy last night. I was like, yeah, do you want to come to the stream? It's like, all right, all right. So, so what time would it be? Oh, around 4 o'clock my time. It's like, I'll do it. Went to sleep early. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, it's uh, nine o'clock uh, evening. Yeah. That's a good time. That's that sounds like a good time, like near near going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the day's not even here yet. <laughs> yeah, but my whole day, my whole day is already out the window and. Sam's day is just starting, and yours is just starting even more, so you are in a better situation than me. <laughs> we get to start off on a nice live stream, so that's a pretty good day to start. Okay, so I don't have so much time, so maybe we should start with the first topic. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh boy. Hey, can you guys say something? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, oh, this is good. I can hear you guys better like this. When the sound is coming from the, excuse me, the speakers, excuse me, from the uh, laptop, not over there. Oh, it's better. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, AJ Punk. Okay, he's going to be here, you know, any moment. As a matter of fact, he said, excuse me, Jesus, you know, because, you know, sorry about that. Um, let me just find out. Estimate. Oh, you put, you're coming, so this is good. And you're already here, so. Can you give an estimate? Uh, Gary is... Here now, yeah. Still Motorola or no? No, it is different. Yeah. Next year. Next year. Oh, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> oh we're gonna carry the share by ourselves now. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what uh, do you like from the professional wrestling? Well, of course, I grew up um, watching it, and uh, I was I was really big during the Attitude Era, you know, with The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I also watched WCW, so it was all my time, and I I try and catch up to it every now and again. But it was mainly like the early two thousands. I was really into it. That was my thing. And what about you? Bit bit of bit of a fan of John Cena, I take it. Just a huge one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I watch wrestling since I was very, very little. Uh, basically, maybe since John started 
I can't remember exactly, but The Rock was still there, Stone Cold was still there, uh, Triple H was really big back then, The Undertaker, and now, and since then I watch it uh, every week, so I, I haven't missed a thing. Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, yeah, I've sort of got a bit slack lately ever since the PG era started, but, you know, I still love it. Still my big thing. I still love, uh, I go to the, the live shows when it comes here, and uh, awesome, awesome watching it live. I can only imagine. Okay, so what is our oh. official topic for today? Okay. All right, well, I'm ready. I guess for the main thing, like the summer camp, I guess, uh, which is like a slasher game, but, you know, we're waiting for AJ. Um, looks like he was about to type something, but I'm guessing, uh, AJ, if you're watching this, I, I kind of maybe take it you're going to be coming any moment? Because you look like he was going to start to come, and then um, can you give an estimate is what I said. And he looks like he's about to type something, but maybe he's just going to come, you know? Um, so, you know, maybe we could talk a little bit of Fallout 4, but, you know, it's any kind of video game topic, and the thing was, we were um, kind of talking about, uh, like, the Elder Scrolls games, like, between, uh, you know, Skyrim and Oblivion. Uh, I don't know if, I know that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Vincent just said that he played both. Have, have you played both those games, Gary? Both Skyrim and Oblivion, no, only Skyrim. Only Skyrim? Yes, yes. I think I, I think that I told you that before when we talked about uh, the both games because the old one. I mean, it's I kind of didn't, didn't know that it was there. Then when I found out uh, Skyrim was already out, so I just missed it. Uh, oh, okay. And just real quick here, Adam or AJ, he said hour and twenty minutes, and I get off work. So he should be on here in about an hour, an hour and twenty minutes. Just a heads up, and that's oh, okay. That is. <laughs> that's so close. That's so close, but that that's okay. Um, hopefully, we also get more people. Um, yeah, you know, I've I've played. I started off with Daggerfall, which is Elder Scrolls Two. Then went back to try out Arena, which is the first Elder Scrolls. Uh, this was back in '93, mind you. Um, and then I skipped Marwind because my computer is not strong enough at the time. And it's, well, it kind of is strong now, you know, my laptop. By the way, if you're wondering why the background is different, I'm at my dad's house, just so you know. So you might see him coming in and walking around. So, you know, because my brother and I were visiting our dads. Um, okay. The, is that um, cross trainers or something behind you? Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's like a... Uh, a cross trainer. Yeah. Cross trainer, yeah. Kind of said that uh, between English and my language, something like that. I just call it the torture machine. Right, yeah. Um, I was going to say, I skipped Marwind and I went to Oblivion and then went back to Marwind and played it and really loved it and then went back to Oblivion and I went to Skyrim, of course. It was the order. Now, um, what do you do? What do you guys? Uh, well, first, let me ask because I know with uh, Sir Wolfbane, uh, Vincent, uh, between Oblivion and Skyrim, which one did you prefer? I'm gonna have to go with Oblivion. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? I actually went back to play Oblivion not too long ago, and uh, there are things in Oblivion that I really enjoyed more than Skyrim. Not saying Skyrim is a bad game. Um, of course, it looks better and it's got some good things about it. But um, the thing is, like, I played Oblivion about seven years ago, seven or eight years ago, and I, I was still getting into RPGs. Like, I still wasn't used to the uh, genre, and you know, when I first played it, I didn't like it. I hated it. Really? Which, yeah. I mean, like, I, I got it because I was getting into RPGs and I started playing. I'm just like, I really don't like this. But, uh, yeah, I went back to play it and I just found that, like, Skyrim was just a, a bit too... It, it wasn't quite as deep as Oblivion was, um, like, mm. storyline-wise. And, 
just some smaller things. I, I could go on for ages about the smaller things, but just know that um, they took a, a lot of the uh, depth out of Skyrim, I felt. But uh, in the end, it's still a great game. I'm not taking anything away from Skyrim. I just I prefer Oblivion. Okay, okay. Um, well, actually, let me uh, carry on presentation here and ask it. Uh, what do you think of... Uh, What's happening? I think I think he froze. No, oh, I'm I'm back again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you think of of uh, Skyrim, Gary? Well, you know what I what I think. I mean, it's a great great game, and uh, just now I was still wondering which was the best RPG that I personally played, and uh, I I still haven't decided yet. I think that maybe is The Witcher. Three because I just actually finished it. By the way, I'm super happy that I finished it. So yeah, the review is coming. I have to think about what to do about the review. Uh, I don't have white uh, wig like Angry Joe does, so it's going to be super difficult to pull off something like like what he did. But I will do something. I don't know what yet. So The Witcher Three is wonderful way of doing RPGs, I think. And as graphics, um, as a fighting mechanics, a lot better than Skyrim. I mean, the fighting style in Skyrim was, for me, super stiff and just it didn't do anything for me. I mean, it wasn't very good. But um, uh, in uh, Dragon Age and in The Witcher, the fighting is better, so that's good, of course. And, the, and I'm still kind of in a dilemma um, of whether or not uh, uh, I just talked about this and I forgot it already <laughs> about the Dragon Age and, and, uh, and, and um, The Witcher 3, which one is better? In a way, The Witcher 3, in a way, Dragon Age, I'm kind of in between still. I saw that video where you kind of compared the two. I think yeah, compared the riding, uh, how you ride a horse. Yeah. So that's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, and uh, oh, yeah, I'll touch up on the uh, on that. But um, I'll just say, for me, I guess uh, with the Skyrim Oblivion thing, uh, I probably prefer Skyrim more. But because you know, the whole thing with the dragons. But I just like how you can do wield two things in each hand: a sword, you know, and a spell, or two different kind of magics. Um, I don't like the uh, <coughs> sorry. I don't like the menu. No, not the menu, but well, kind of like the menu, but uh, like the journal. Okay, I, I don't really like that too much. I think in Oblivion, it was far more uh, in depth and fleshed out. Uh, Marwin, I thought, had the best menu where it kind of takes like directions, it jots all that down. Uh, every little detail and the nuance uh, that you pick up in clues is jot down on your uh, journal, and I absolutely love that. So I think when you take the whole three, if you could take all the best parts about it and put it into one thing, I think it would be like perfect, it's like a perfect uh, kind of game. I like the sprint button. Um, so that's you know my thing on the Skyrim Oblivion. And uh, but with The Witcher, I'm very interested. Uh, you kind of froze. Yeah, froze again. Give him a second. I think I think <laughs> I think I froze yeah, again. <laughs> but still, I think overall better connection here is weird. But uh, you know, I want to get it for um, you know, my Xbox One. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's available on Xbox One. Uh, and give it a try because they say that the um, like you said, you know, the horseback riding. Um, well, see, here's the thing with with the uh, Inquisition horseback riding. Uh, it seems like when you uh, you gallop. You know, when you go fast on the horse, it doesn't feel like you're going that fast. It feels like you're supposed to go more faster. And I think you kind of notice that too, right? Uh, um, yeah. Right, Vincent? And would you, so would you say, like, overall, the, the horseback riding? Because, of course, I have no reference for uh, with uh, Witcher 3. But, Gary, uh, is the horseback riding when you gallop and, you know, to go faster? Does it feel like you're actually going fast? Yeah, yeah, it definitely feel like you're going a lot faster. Um, so it's kind of 
it's kind of like more real and in Dragon Age when you go faster uh, there's a graphic image of the wind going uh, beside the horse yeah. and you're feeling that uh, like you're flying but not really riding and it's not so fast so it's kind of like two different things totally but it's more of the problem is more of uh, where the horse can go and where it can go. In uh, Dragon Age, you can go uh, and climb more things with the horse. In The Witcher, mm, it's not, not exactly like that. And when you try to jump over something, it's not that easy and it's not that natural. Uh, well, in the, in the Dragon Age, it's a lot more easy to jump over things and climb things with the horse. So that's the big difference. Mm. Okay, okay. I noticed too with the horse, and and well, for um, I don't know what you mean with like with the Dragon Age, and and, and maybe you can also confirm this as well, uh, uh, Vincent. Is that the um? Put you on presentation. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, like you know when you're on your horse, and like what Gary was saying that yeah. Um, you're able to climb up more things. You notice that you can kind of uh, scale like some of the higher hills, um, get up to places that you normally. Uh, I can't remember if you're able to jump in in uh, Inquisition. You, do you remember if you can jump as when you're off the horse? I'm pretty sure you can't. I don't remember ever jumping when I used the horse. I didn't use the horse very often, to be honest. But yeah, I don't remember jumping. Okay. No, well, I know the horse you can jump, but like as when you're just on your feet. Oh, when you're on your feet, you can jump, yeah. You can jump? I can't remember because it's been a while. Um, okay. Yeah, like, you know, if there's like a high thing that I couldn't get around, like particularly in the, I forget what it was called. I think um, kind of like the beachfront area where you get Iron Bowl. You know that mm -hmm. part? Uh, yeah. Place like that, and then you, you um, what do you call it? You drain the lake or the ocean or whatever it is to get to the other side because, you know, that, that part in the game. Uh, there are parts where you know you kind of have to navigate. I think what it was is to get one of those crystals, those shards, and I couldn't get up there. You know, it's by walking or trying to jump. I had to get on my horse and then kind of jump with the horse and you know get up that way. Just maybe because it has a higher you know reach. Yeah, yeah. You actually um, said something yeah. that um, just reminded me. The biggest minus of Dragon Age is exactly that, that you can go whatever you like. You can swim. If you try to jump in the water, the game will just bring you back on the surface and, and the whole health, uh, health bar will be drawn, drawn out. So that is ridiculous. And in The Witcher you can go everywhere and wow. swim and go underwater and, and pick up something from the water, a treasure or something else. So that is just great and yeah in Dragon Age you can't do anything with the, with the water basically I you can uh, run with the horse above the water and in The Witcher you can't really go into the water with the horse it would just go um, at the beginning of the water where is uh, where is the most um, you can say the, the less deep yeah on the surface yeah uh, and in Dragon Age you can yeah Yes, it is. It's almost the same with the horse in, in the water, but at least in the winter you can swim and do everything. Right, and I noticed that, yeah, what it does, like, especially in the hinterlands where you get, I think it's Blackwall. Do you remember that, that area where he's training, those refugees had to fight Blackwall? The guy with the beard, he's a, um, I forgot what he was. Wasn't he a... Uh, Grey Warden. He was Grey Warden. Yeah, but there's a secret behind him, of course. And... Um, it, it, there's that part where there's the water and there's that waterfall. I tried initially just going right through it instead of having to go around it, and it just, you know, all of a sudden respawned me like at the starting point. You know, it wouldn't just let me cut across the water. Um, you kind of think that you'd be able to swim and do something like that, you know, as simple as that, but it wouldn't allow it. So, but you're saying in The Witcher you can kind of go underwater, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You swim. You go under the water. You go everywhere, basically, so it's super great. Okay, wow, wow. Yeah, and I also remember that in Skyrim, you can go uh, with the horse very high and also uh, slide down from very, very high. So that's also great, and with the Witcher, you can do something similar. You can also uh, go whatever you like and just slide down. 
which is super great. And in Dragon Age, uh, when you try to climb a certain mountain or a hill, uh, it's just like invisible walls. Right. And you can go anywhere. So yeah, not not uh, on every single uh, mountain, but uh, there are some places that it's just nothing there, invisible walls. Um, well, say so Vincent, uh, between the um, and or uh, you, uh, how you guys felt with uh, you know the horse? Which one had like the best kind of horseback riding between Skyrim uh, and you know and Oblivion? Since you Vincent, you you played it, so you you can uh, judge that. A uh, Witcher, and then of course you know Dragon Age uh, Inquisition. Well, um, first of all, Dragon Age Inquisition. It had pointless horseback riding. It shouldn't have been in the uh, in the game. I think it was just like to join to, to join in with the other RPGs. It's was like, well, other people are doing it. Let's have horseback riding. I find it absolutely hilarious that when you're riding on horseback in Dragon Age Inquisition, they add speed lines while you're riding, so it makes it look like you're going faster. But really, it's just like I'm going faster if I'm running. So, yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition has the worst horseback riding. Um, but I, of course, I don't own The Witcher 3. My cousin does, and uh, I've jammed around on the game for a bit. I've tried a bit of the combat and a bit of horseback riding. It probably has the best horseback riding of all of them. Um, perhaps maybe Skyrim can be a bit more useful because, again, you can go up, like, vertical mountains on your magic horse that cannot feel gravity, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with uh, Witcher 3. Witcher 3, okay. I take it that's going to be your pick too, right, uh, Gary? Yeah, I think so, yeah, and exactly what I said with the, those uh, wind, the wind uh, yeah. Guys, yeah. I noticed it, it's just the line. <laughs> just like, we know they're not going very fast, let's make it look like they're going fast. Yeah, yeah but we really, yeah. Like, we really like, no. Push stick farther just to try to go faster, but it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what you guys know about the game Summer Camp that's coming out? Have Have you heard about that? Nope, actually, I have to check it. Summer Camp was that was that about? Mm. It's basically a slasher film that's a game. Yeah, you play you play a slasher film. You know, a bunch of teenagers go to a camp out in the middle of nowhere and then a killer comes and kills everyone. Oh, yeah, I see some pictures in Google. Not yeah. my type of game. Oh, <laughs> so you know, like like the Resident Evil kind of games and... I wish... Mm -hmm. hmm? Nope, more more like, like the movies, although no one's like the movies, but... Uh, I like the movies, but I, but I don't like the games. I'm just not a zombie type of horror fan. Just not. Um, as for the game, um, okay. I know that yeah, there's going to be multiplayer. It's, imagine like there's going to be people that's going to be playing the teenagers who are in the summer camp, and there's going to be someone who's playing as the uh, murderer or the uh, you know psycho. And uh, I'm guessing the cycle is going to have the old uh, horror tricks, you know, the imagine, you know, the, the magical transporting and uh, super strength and all this. But uh, it's going to be it's something that's interesting. But again, I'm not really into the whole four-on-one uh, gameplay where it's just like something like Evolve, where you know, four people are hunting one thing. This is basically one person hunting four people. So it's probably going to be something I'm going to skip out on, but I can see the appeal for some people. Oh, wow, okay. So uh, when you mentioned about before, you know, each person playing the game is going to be able to take up a role, uh, can, is it like um, you have to share the screen, or can you kind of break off like an MMO type thing almost? Or, uh, do you know uh, it's going to be... I'm guessing it's going to be first-person um, view, and uh, so I don't think it's going to be split-screen, so we, we can't all just get around one uh, screen and just play that way. 
but it's going to be like online, okay. like lifting or something like that. Okay, no couch co-op at all, huh? Um, you? I'm not. I'm not confirming that. There might be, but five for five players uh, doesn't quite work on a screen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I, I did not know it was a first-person game. Kind of like uh, like a Diablo kind of game, you know, third person, kind of like isotopic or not isotopic, uh, isometric kind of uh, perspective, like a Diablo game. Uh, mm. This is very cool that it is uh, first person. Um, I'm probably guessing you're gonna find things like uh, weapons, and you can kind of uh, construct a type of uh, like rudimentary weapon or something, or maybe even find guns and stuff like that, cleavers and. Um, Kind of like with like Dead Rising, how you can just find things and throw stuff together. I'm hoping I could be absolutely wrong, but I, you know, like I said, that's why I wish you know AJ uh, or Adam, you know, he's he was in Canada, uh, was here because he has all the details about the game. Um, yeah, I I don't know very much of that. Um, you guys saw the the trailer for it? Because um, if not, uh, okay. I'm in the site right now, actually. Oh, you're at the site. Okay. Because I'll, I'll share it, okay, on the screen. Uh, also, you know, just for the folks out there in YouTube land uh, can also uh, see it. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, it says that uh, Summer Camp is a third-person horror survival game where oh. players can be, can be a team uh, what? Team what? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm kind of too tired, I can't read, I guess. So I'm guessing they've changed perspective. It used to be first person, but I'm guessing it's now third person. Unless you can switch it up, kind of like, um, you know, how typically, like, they do in, like, uh, like an Elder Scrolls game in Fallout, how you can kind of switch up the perspective, unless they did that, you know. Um, I doubt that. You doubt that? Um, we're here. Okay. And when you watch this trailer, uh, what I like about it is they made it look like um, like a classic kind of cheesy grindhouse uh, B horror flick, you know, or kind of like you know, you know, like a, like a Friday the Thirteenth, uh, excuse me, type of knockoff. Um, okay, and here we go. Can, uh, can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. In association, association with Tom Servini, philosophy. Green, quiet, tranquil, a nice place to camp. But when the sun goes down, Something stalks the forest. On a warm June night in 1984, a group of teen counselors are about to have the night of their lives. No one is safe. No one will survive. Because it's summer camp, your sleeping bag will be your body bag. Okay. Look at that. And I like, yeah, look at this part right here. It's like the, the main screen. You know, press any button to start. Fantastic. I couldn't help but just kind of smile when I saw that whole thing. It's just great. And, you know, it's Kane Hodder, who uh, I think the motion captured him as the uh, as a main killer. So let me see here. Let's uh, go back to this. Oh, did I stop sharing the screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. to face cam. Cool, alright. Um, so, what did you guys think of that? Pretty impressive, eh? Hmm. I don't know because they didn't show any gameplay or, or nothing, they showed just a real footage, which uh, can never impress me because I want to see the game, I don't want to see some something cut from different things. But as of the actual filler itself, not not necessarily the game, but just 
the look of it um, coming off like a, a cheesy beef flick. You know, it's like something from the 80s. How, how do you think uh, they fared on that? I thought they did a fantastic job of, you know, capturing that essence. Wouldn't you say? Or I mean, I, I see what they're going with, but I have to agree with Kerry here, but you, you need to show gameplay when you're, when you're trying to advertise for a game. Yeah. If you want to do something stylistic, go for it, but you need to have gameplay with there as well. That, no, totally agree, yes. Um, yeah, it was just more of like the trailer itself, but yeah, I, I wish there was gameplay. I wonder, do you know if there is any kind of footage? Have no, there is no footage. There is no footage yet, okay. Well, last I checked. Okay, because I heard, and I think it was AJ that told me, or maybe it was Dean, but possibly, uh, well, I think he said sometime this year, so I'm, I'm thinking around Halloween is when that's going to come out. Um, well, here, let's take a look at this. That was a trailer, uh, Summer Camp Game Play. So maybe we can at least see what the game is going to look like. Uh, smash around teaser. That's a teaser. Um, how much to Friday the 13th? You'll be able to play on PS4, Xbox One, and PC soon. This was six months ago. So it's not that soon. So what is this? Okay, so this is a news. Okay, so hold on here. Let me share the screen again. I don't see any gameplay trailers. Even here that you news. Publisher Gun has released a new that? set of screenshots and details yeah. last year volume one summer camp an upcoming asymmetrical multiplayer game inspired by 1980s horror movies. Currently planned for release on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, Summer Camp sets a group of team counselors against a player-controlled stalker called The Killer. Okay, it kind of goes. It uh, utilizes advantages and mobility to the arsenal of weapons to hunt other players across the seemingly tranquil Camp 4 screen. Did Here she will also up? be able to harness the environment to the That's camp next and team counselors. A concept of oh, Jason Voorhees more memorable murders like the sleeping bag kill or the gory bathroom face mirror smash. Friday the 13th fans know what I'm talking about. The counselors are a group of 6 to 7 players relying largely on stealth and evasion to survive. The teams will need to monitor the level of noise they create and search for weapons to fend off the killer while locating escape vehicles. The counselors can work together as a team or split up to tackle the situation alone, and the creators promise both paths have risks and rewards. New images of Camp Forest Green depict lakeside shores, gore streaked canoes, bloody tents, dimly lit cabins, and dark pathways through the woods. For more on Summer Camp and all your video game games, stay tuned at GM. Okay. So basically, it's going to be something like the forest. Y yeah, the, the forest. But what, what is that? The forest, yes, uh, an open world forest. kind of game. Oh, yeah. Area. oh, oh, okay, okay. But some hunt, some psycho hunting you down in this one. Yeah, some cannibals, some strange freaks. And other things. And you build stuff like in Minecraft, but with normal graphics, you can say. Okay, I see. Yeah. Still not my thing. I'm just saying. It kind of yeah. looks like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know very much uh, about that. And like I said, um, that's why I wish, you know, AJ was here. He'd be able to kind of, like, fill us in on, like, more stuff. Um, I couldn't really find any uh, gameplay. Nothing popped up. Um, let's see. Well, what what kind of games uh, are you guys playing currently? I mean, let, let's hear from you uh, first, Gary, because uh, I know that you know Vincent. If did, if you know if you check out his channel, you know for Sir Wolfbane, um, he also does like LPs as well. And I gotta apologize because I started watching when I was watching yours, uh, Vincent. I started at 29, thinking for some reason it is one, but that was just you were kind of making your return. You know, you I guess you started like many many months ago. Uh, I figured you know I'll start you know turn mainly because um, I don't want to kind of like excuse me fall behind. So um, but do check out his LPs and. Um, you know, it's just very, very fun stuff. So he's doing Dead Space right now. I don't think I mentioned the game. It's, it's Dead Space, if you play that game. 
I have not. Uh, I have Dead Space 2, haven't played it. Uh, which game are you currently playing right now? Uh, I know you, you mentioned you just finished uh, Witcher uh, 3. Uh, yeah. What else do you have that, uh, you know, kind of planned, like that you're going to kind of play and uh, maybe put up some more gameplay footage of? Well, let me check. So right now I'm playing mostly Rocket League. Uh, I'm waiting for the patch for Batman Arkham Knights. I'm waiting for somebody to fix Assassin's Creed Unity, which basically is not going to happen. And uh, I have to finish already with Dragon Age. And I started Wars of the Fallen, but I didn't really like it. But I'm going to give it another chance and then make a video about it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um... Are you familiar f with any of those games, Vincent? Uh, yes, yes. Um, of course, Witcher 3. Uh, I played through Witcher 2, of course. Um, then there's Dragon Age Inquisition. I played the 360 version, as you well know. Yeah. Uh, Lords of the Fallen is basically, what I, from what I know, is uh, Dark Souls Light. Uh, oh. Rocket League, I haven't played, but I watched Angry Joe's video on it. It looked pretty fun. Um, what else was there? Did I miss one? Did I miss any? Uh, Bat Batman, Assassin's oh, Creed. Um, I, I can't play Batman Arkham Knight. I don't have any next-gen systems, but I did play um, Arkham Asylum, City, and Origins. So, and I love them. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and with the Rocket League, uh, Vincent, you might also want to check out Gary G's uh, gaming channel, which is um, Gary G Gaming. Uh, she has, uh, I, I think, I don't know if she has like two, but I've at least seen one of the footage of her Rocket League, um, you know, her, like kind of like a let's a mini let's play type of video. Uh, she's up against, uh, I know one, I remember one name in particular, which is, uh, I think it was like LL Double or du Double L or do you remember that that name in the in the thing, uh, Gary? Double L or something. Like that? Yeah, he was. Something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you you were pretty fantastic uh, in that game. I got a report, and uh, it is exactly as you described. Um, it's literally soccer, but with the cars. You know, and you have a ball, and I got to say, it looks very, very fun. You can drive up the walls and uh, kind of, you know, you're instead of kicking it with your feet, you know, you're knocking it with the, you know, with the front. Yeah, with the car, and you, yeah. and you just have to see Angry Joe's review of the game because he's doing. He's trying to do uh, something like this in real life with, with two cars and a huge beach ball. It's it's super funny. <laughs> it's yeah. Oh, yeah. I I saw one. Um, yeah, he he's, he's a funny guy. The way he does his um, like his reviews, he really puts on the show. That's why it's the Angry Angry Joe show. Um, like I remember though, I think it was Metal Gear Solid. Uh, excuse me, I can't remember. It's called like Zero or something like that, where it's literally. You can complete the game in like two minutes. Like one guy did a speed run and complete the game in two minutes. Did, did you guys see see that one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, the demo. I think Ground Zeroes. I think it is. Briefly. But uh, it's yeah, like, it's, uh, yeah, it's, like it's like a separate game, but they market it as a, a game. Yeah, they they, like they basically game. took the first the first level of the Phantom Pain and sold it for uh, what thirty of thirty American dollars, which is yeah, yeah. ridiculous, ridiculous. It's, yeah. Not I mean, that, uh, it's not that good. I mean, it's just a level. It's just a demo. It's nothing that super special, or anything. Right, I think. From what we're um, hearing from Konami lately, there've been a um, a bunch of real idiots lately. So it, now it doesn't really surprise me that they did something that bad. But it's still it's still really worthless that they that they charge so much for just a, a small portion for a game coming up. It really sets the standards. Like, what if other companies are going to do it now? Because it's Metal Gear Solid. Everyone loves Metal Gear Solid, so a lot of people bought it, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully it doesn't catch on. Yeah, hopefully. Because it's going to be a disaster if it does. Uh, I've only played the first, I think, like the first two Metal Gear on, on the original PlayStation. PlayStation, <laughs> PlayStation 1, I haven't played 
uh, any of the new ones. I'm, I'm sorry, but um, it's a pretty fun game, and um, so you know, I don't know how I would kind of change because uh, well, f according to what Angry Joe said, the actual gameplay is is decent. It's pretty good, but just the fact that it just kind of lasted. It was just like so short. I think he said he beat the whole game for him, someone who's never played a Metal Gear Solid game in his life. I beat it in like an hour, or maybe a little over an hour, and he beat the whole game. And he was expecting that was just the first level, but then that was it. You know, I guess it's kind of different though with uh, if you ever played, uh, you know, Dead Rising. Uh, I think it was called um, Dead Dead Rising uh, uh, Zero. Is you know, it's kind of like the the prelude to. Uh, do, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, a Case Zero. You know, Case Zero. I played that. You know, and then it kind of the content kind of transfers over to the full game. This is still, you know, on the 360, not, you know, Dead Rising um, 4, which I still have to get. Um, but yeah, because, well, at least with that, you know, the, the price they charge, I think, was only like 10 or $15, and at least there's content that kind of transfers over to the next. I don't think this happens with this one. I think this was just more of like like a demo that they kind of charge full price for. Um, so yeah, yeah I think... something like that, yeah. If that first part isn't in the game that now is coming out, uh, you all know the answer basically to that question, but I think it's uh, this is going to be totally separate. We'll see. Right, yeah. But you know what? I have the game. And you want to know how much I paid for that, that new Metal Gear? Zero. Because it's free. When you have gold, uh, I have gold for like three months. I think like two months now. A little less than two months. Um, every month you get two free games. Um, and they're like full games. So this one was absolutely free. And on Xbox? On on Xbox One, yes, absolutely. If do you have Xbox Gold? Or do you have an? Or, I don't know if you, I think you said you have a PS3, right? Or a PS PS3, and you're gonna upgrade it to a PS4. Yeah, I just sold my PS3 yesterday, okay. and I'm hoping that I'm going to get a PS4 um, tomorrow. But you're going to see. Um, I'm not sure yet, so I don't want to jinx it. But we'll see. And I have to get some uh, PS Plus membership. Uh, and the first month is free, so at least I will get a taste of it, and um, I will I will have I think Drive Club uh, as a game right now is free. I see, because uh, I don't know if they do it with the PlayStation. I, I can't speak for that, but I know for Xbox, I don't think they do it on on PS4. You know, on for Sony doesn't do this. I think that was like a complaint from people. I could be wrong. Maybe they change that now. But with Xbox. Uh, every month, when you have a gold membership, which is an online you know, membership, uh, you get two free games, you know, for download um, every month. So that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it's like exactly. I think it's exactly the same for the PS4 because when you have PlayStation Plus, now I'm going to get this month if I get the console, Drive Club, um, uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, game, uh, also some other game, I think, and every month is different. And if you are still a member uh, of PlayStation Plus, you will get all those games, but you will be able to play them as long as you pay the membership, something like that. So they do give you some small games and so really big games like Drive Club. So yeah, basically the same as Xbox. I actually didn't know about Xbox that they did have this, but. Of course, they do have it. They do have to have it. There was, and and that's a cool thing too. When you're part of that membership, too, you get like deals, like half off, like fifty percent off of some games, in addition to the two free games. Which I'm pretty sure then, you know, PlayStation does that same thing. There is a game though on uh, PlayStation Four that is coming. Uh, it's kind of like uh, it follows a story. I cannot remember what the title of the game is, um, but it follows a story of uh, of like a group of like teens, right? And you make choices for them. And it's literally just like a film, like a movie, but when it comes to certain points in the game, a decision, you know, like, kind of like a choose your own adventure thing, and certain cast members can die. Everyone could die, you know, and depending upon who dies and what choices you make, um, you know, will kind of change the ending of the game. There's, I don't know how many endings, I don't think they revealed that. But there's many, many endings, so it has like high replay. But it's essentially like kind of like a choose your own adventure. But the thing is, if you're wondering, well, why play something like that? But the thing is, it has a cinematic feel to it. Do, do you guys know the game I'm talking about? I think it's on about Zero or something like that. 
I know, I know what game we're talking about. I've seen it. But I just cannot remember the name. I have no idea. But it, but it does sound interesting. But, but it's going to be no. It's, uh, it's going to be on the system you're going to be getting, uh, Gary. The uh, the PS4. It's exclusive only to that. So I was kind of jealous about that because I was looking into it because I want to put my money down, and then I found out it's only for uh, for PS4. Um, what do I? How do I find? Until that? dawn. Until dawn. That's the one. Oh, until dawn. Just wait a second. I think I know what exactly what uh, you're talking about. Just a sec. I have to be sure if it's the same game that I'm thinking about. Oh no, it's it's other. It's the other game. There's another one. Okay, hold on. It's um the one exclusive that is coming to PlayStation is uh Dawn Zero or. Zero Dawn, yeah, Zero Dawn. Zero. I'm waiting for that, yeah. That's something. Uh, that looks amazing, and uh, that's one of the re that's one of the games I was like, wish I was getting a PS4. It honestly looks so good when I saw it. I'm just like, damn, they really stood up their game. Absolutely, it looks absolutely amazing. They they show that on E3 for the first time. I think Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. Okay, um, so Horizon. Have to check that out. Um, let's see something here. I have uh, about ten minutes, just to say. Ten minutes? Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Can I get this to be better quality? Is this a game? I don't know if this is old footage or new, but here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen. Uh, okay, there we go. Whoop. Okay, here we go. I believe this is the one. So thank, thank you for that, uh, Vincent. I hope this is. Uh, mm -hmm. No, let's just hope there's no nudity in here. Hey, we so have nudity. Okay. Oh boy. That's creepy. Hello? Nice. What are you doing out there? Okay. It's gross. No, 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 no. A shout out to my, I don't know what this is, but Kurt just sent a audio message here, and it. It's my clothes, really? Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Oops. Uh, hey, Kurt, what's going on? Uh, yeah, so I don't know if Chris? you're watching this, but uh, I, I send an Gosh. invite if you are interested in uh, jumping in. Gary's about to go in like less than 10 minutes now, but if you want to come in, and AJ is going to be dropping in as well. So. Hey. Oh, quite some time ago. Oh, really? Yeah, hey, take a look at that. I'm on a uh, live stream and I'm sharing the screen on a Google Hangout. Mike, Emily? So on a Google Hangout. You know, you know, this is so I got people here. really so, getting out of hand, okay? Here. It was all very hey, can you funny. Guys, can you guys oh, see? No, 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 no. Oh, Look okay. at Sam walking around yeah, the town. Right. We were just checking out this trailer. Now I just talking about really want this to be over. All right? It's called Until Dawn. You had enough? It's only on the PS4. No, no, no. no. Oh, the game? Yeah. 
This is the game. This is a game. Yeah, and the thing is cool. Because you make choices. It's kind of like. Um, I just kind of. Uh, and you have a group of. I didn't realize that I was online on this. No, not online. Uh, but it goes like a movie, but it comes with kind of a movie that's quite cool. It goes through the door here, yeah. and then people can die, or everyone can die. You can, record, can I have like, my clothes back, back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the week? Oh, no, it's back. Oh, no, I wish. Towels? What is this? It's called Until Dawn. Oh, a uh, PC, or...? It might... I think, they might put it on a PC and, and PlayStation 4. And no, it's back. It's back. If you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. You guys, you guys happen to know when this game comes out? Um, no. Okay, sorry. Okay. Still like that. I think maybe it's got to be like sometime next year. Next year? Yeah, maybe early next year. Who are you guys? It seems that you guys are only on the phone for the PlayStation as far as I'm seeing. No. I think this is going to be a PS4 exclusive. With PS4 I exclusive, really yeah, damn. So maybe not even a... Yeah. Okay, so release date, uh, uh, release date, yeah. 2015? 2015? Yeah. It must be around the holiday season. Yeah. You got this to look forward to, Gary. For me? Yes. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking into that You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a Yeah, there we go. See? You make the choices. I like that. Mm. Hide or jump. I like, I like that. that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's not an option to hit him. Attack him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. What did you... See, I keep hitting him. Keep hitting them. Hitting him. Mmm. Mmm. They grab it. And break it and then bash him in the face with it. 
Yeah, why doesn't this come out on Xbox One? Um, from the looks of it, it's made by the studio that made Sony, and they're owned by Sony. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yeah. That's insane. Dead. It's insane. It's insane. I hate it. I hate this kind of thing. It's insane. Like it. Oh man. Wow. And I'm not glad that it's going to be on PS4. I prefer. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I won't play it anyway, so. You won't play it? No. Don't like horror games. But it's no. good because I wish the choices were different, like, um. I wish that you have the control in your hands, like in a third person game, and not just touch there and touch here. I, I just don't like that type of games because you don't really feel that you have the control. It's just uh, one option or the other, and then you just uh, see. Uh, what is going to happen, and you just can't do anything. You can't punch him, you can kick him, you can't do anything. So, not it's, my type of game. I guess it's more of like an interactive uh, movie. You, know, you have like a drink, and then you have your food, and you kind of make like little choices. But here's the thing I do kind of agree a little too. I think maybe what they should do is make it where, like that, how do you have it? But then between those moments, you can control a little bit. You know, have moments where you can do that, and then you can get like a weapon, like a cleaver or something, like I would have, would have done was get the wine bottles, get two of them, break them together, and just stick them in the face with it, and just keep on sticking them, or keep on hitting them with that bat, and then it would have been over. Absolutely. Yeah. Always, always it's the same thing in, the, in, the, in those games, and uh, similar games and movies. When you have uh, this opportunity to hit the bad guy, you have to keep hitting him until he's down, and you, you have to make sure that he won't get up. You just kill that guy and be done with it. Not just kill him a little bit and then, oh my god, I'm ruined again. Woo! Yep. You take, know? A page, take a page from Ryan Gosling from Driver. When he stomped the guy's head in the elevator, he just kept on stomping on it like it was a pumpkin. And it looked like a pumpkin afterwards, except just with blood in the brains and stuff. And that's what you got to do to killers like that. Oh boy, disgusting. Well, for those kind of serial, serial killers, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do it to them, of course. Kind of serial killers, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I have to go. I really have to go now. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just I'm so sorry we weren't able to meet up with uh, AJ Punk. I, I don't know how much more longer we're on. I'm guessing maybe about 45 minutes till he gets on. But yeah. Sorry. Next next time maybe you'll be able to meet him. Yeah, next time. I, uh, if I get the PS4, I'll probably we're going, are going to be, um, I'm going to be very busy these days because I, I have to learn everything and see how it is. So it's going to be very interesting. Maybe I will record something. We'll see. So for now, yeah. Sure. Before you go, then, just kind of tell the folks out there in YouTube land what to expect more, what's upcoming for your channel, both channels, as a matter of fact, what reviews are coming your way, and uh, what new kind of gameplay content you're going to be putting out. Well, for my gaming channel, like I said, expect The Witcher 3 review at some point. I don't want to promise a particular day because I'm always jinxing everything. And something happens and I just can't do it. But uh, The Witcher 3, for sure, I have to do this review. And, of course, for my movie, for my movie channel, mm, some review like that. Uh, one, that two, because I recorded this a while back and I just... Um, they haven't really found the time to edit them. So, for now, yeah, those those uh, movie reviews, and so maybe I'm going to change some things up and start talking about other things that interest me. So, the review channel is going to be expanding a little bit, hopefully soon. Excellent. Great, great. Okay, guys, so that was uh, Gary G uh, from Gary G Reviews, but also Gary G Gaming. I'm very much looking forward to uh, those gameplay footage and especially for the review for that Witcher 3, which that will be found on the Gary G Gaming 
uh, channel, uh, of course, and then the movies related material, like a fan fantastic, fantastic for review of not a very fantastic movie at all, is fantastic. <laughs> Found on her Gary G Reviews channel. So do check that out. Show her much love and support and subscribe to both her channels. You know, you're a film fan, you're a game fan, uh, just do it. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for having me. And, of course, uh, to the viewers, subscribe to those guys, of course, as well. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Very nice awesome. to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you, too. And you okay. Bye, guys. Farewell. Farewell. Bye-bye. <laughs> best games for the best prizes on G2A.com and CityKeys.com. If you like to subscribe, you can click the button to the right and you can also check out my gaming channel, Gary G Gaming.